hello and welcome everyone welcome to this uh, lecture and uh, in this lecture i will be showing you how to add this cisco viral images which is going to be the vios um, l3 as well as the layer 2 switch right router and the switch so uh, i have my gns3 open and my gns3 vm is running on my vmware workstation and you can see the gns3 is a vm is connected here right and uh, if you see here i don't see in the routers um, there is no uh, vios and also in the switch uh, you don't see the vios these are uh, the dynamics images that we added now in order to add the uh, the uh, vios you first should have the vios right so um, sharing the vios is not uh, i mean uh, it's against the policy of uh, cisco so these viral images but if you do a, a little bit of google and all you should be able to find this on the internet i'll be sharing some links um, so you can uh, go on and uh, download those uh, so i have already downloaded these images so i will show you once you have the images what is the procedure right so uh, you can go and um, uh, hit on the new template here and then say install an application on from the gns3 server which is the recommended one and we can do a next here and then from here you can go to routers let's add the cisco uh, vios first so this is the one like chemo cisco and then say install okay and then install the appliance on the gns3 vm so all this is getting installed on our gns3 vm which is running on vmware workstation now uh, you should know what version you have uh, 15.6 7 whatever you have uh, if you don't know then um, do one thing create a new version so for example i will go to my um, uh, uh, directory where i have the uh, even g um, this images so if i go here um, so if you see here i have the vios l2 and then i have the vios l3 now I'm not also sure what version it is so we can just assume that this is 15.6 okay and we can rename it like that only so for example this is 15.5 15.6 so you have to basically rename it with this one exactly like this one okay or or you can create a new version uh, here and say this is my 15.6 like this and enter okay and then you can copy this whole name and go to your image that you have the l3 and paste it here and that's done now once you are here now you can see where it is right it's in the uh, the directory you know where it is say okay now uh, and the uh, startup config it will be already there and okay so i found this locally the image this is like uh, available and now this one is what we have to import so click on import and go to the location where you had your uh, file so I think it is the L3 or yeah, this one I renamed just now and just double click and it will be basically copied to the GNS3 VM as I can say see um, the image is being copied in the GNS3 VM and once it is there uh, you will see that it is ready to install okay so you can see 15.6 that we created just now is showing ready to install click on that and hit next and say yes okay it is showing you um, uh, there is no default password on enable so let's say finish and say okay now you can see the vios here so i can just configure this and say this is my cisco uh, iosv and I, let's say this is like l3 like this uh, so that this is like recognizable and also i will change the image or uh, the symbol of this um, uh, Cisco VIOS image of L3. Uh, this should be a router, right? So let me just go on and click on this Affinity Blue and say I have a router. Mm. Yeah, so I can have this. I can have that. So let's have this one. Click on that and click on. Okay, you can change the uh, vCPU as an M, but uh, I'll keep the default. So I have the L3 ready. Now let's go on and add the L2. The procedure is same. Um, new template. Install an appliance from the GNS3 server. Next, and then sorry, and then you have the switches this time. And then scroll down and uh, go for the Cisco IOS VL2 and install. Right. Install the appliance on the GNS3 VM. Next, and hit next here. And now you are here, right? Now again, 
you're, you don't know so create a new version say 15 dot something 15 dot 22 something like that okay and it will give you a name copy that go to the folder where you have the l2 i have the l2 here i can go and rename this basically like this okay and done and i will close this i will hit on ok hit on this and import and go to the uh, folder which is the vis l2 double click and this will be imported inside my gns3 vm so i'll wait for the files to be copied inside my gns3 vm and once the um, copy is uh, completed i should see this here so i see both this so that means this is the version that is matching anyways i'll just click on this next yes and finish and okay so i will find this in the switch here this one so i'll just uh, configure the template and i'll say cisco uh ios l2 i don't want the version for example this and then i will change the uh, symbol of the switch to something fancy so that i know this is the vios that i've just added right so uh, let's wait for this to connect to the local host okay an affinity and i will say a switch so i have the multi-layer switch and this switch so i'll just go with this switch okay and again i'll keep the ram and the cpu default hit on okay now i can just click on here so that i can see everything so i want the l2 and i want the l3 and I, we will test this right now so you can see these two have been added to the um, uh, topology and you can see these nodes and let's go and start these nodes one by one and you can see th those have turned green and they've started use utilizing the cpu from the uh, gns3 vm and let's double click on this and also double click on the l3 so i have the l3 and i have the l2 both are here side by side nice um l2 yep l3 yep so these are getting booted so let's wait for this as you can see this is like l2 and this is l3 15.6 the code right this is 15.2 the code so we will have to give some time so that the uh, vis both the vis's gets initialized and then we can just test a little bit of um, i mean um, some some command so that uh, you will see that these images are working perfectly fine and that is how you will add the um, VIS inside your GNS3 VMs. Okay, great. So as you can see on the right hand side, my router has uh, already initialized. So if I do a show version command here, I could see the version that um, the, of the software that it is running, which is 15.6, uh, as we know already, right? And after that, um, let me see the 15.6. Where is it? Yeah, 15.6. Now that is done, and let's go on and see show IP interface. Okay, show IP interface. Brief the command, and it has four gigabit um, Ethernet. So uh, this interfaces, right? Also, you can see show route. Uh, as of now, I know. There is no, I mean, show IP route. There are, will not be no uh, any routes because we don't have the interfaces configured with IP address. So let's say we want to go and configure the interface, um, say gigabit um, zero slash zero, sorry, zero slash zero, and say no shut, and then um, say IP address is uh, ten dot one dot one dot one two five five two five five two five five zero, and once you do this. And say show IP route. Um, still, I mean um, the interface is down. Show IP interface brief because we have not connected it to um, the switch or something. So that is why this will not come up in your uh, routing table. But that is how you do it. Um, and uh, on the other hand, if I see on my switch, the switch has also um, booted. So if I see show version here, I should see the version um, that is 15.2. And I should see uh, some of the commands like show VLAN, and I think the summary is working here. Yeah, and show VLAN. What brief is working here, and uh, so what? What else you have? Show, um, show interface status. 
is one command that works on the switches and uh, likewise you have show um i think it is standby or something yeah show standby and you can hit um, question mark you should see the options here uh, and all so yeah like this you can have um, different um, uh, type of uh, nodes added to your uh, gns3 and uh, start working on labs with it so these were the two um, viral images from cisco which uh, you will be able to add to your lab in gns3 vm and start practicing whatever features and technologies you want to uh, practice so that would be all for this uh, lecture and i hope you like the lecture uh, i will see you in the next lecture till then bye bye